one way ANOVA followed by post hoc test in Excel. One way ANOVA statistical test is a test used to compare between several variables that are normally distributed and fulfill the assumptions for doing the test. Post hoc test is another test that will determine which pair of uh, variables or groups are different and have statistical differences in their mean. Here in Excel, I had inserted data for four different groups of individuals with their occupations, doctor, dentist, pharmacist, and nurses. 25 cases for each individual group and, we'll, and the salary or the earning for each doctor per year is inserted here and we want to compare between the salary for all these four groups so the salary here is the dependent variable and the grouping is the independent variables which is the occupations and to do one way ANOVA analysis to look for any differences between all these four four groups uh, click on data then click on data analysis here and if you don't have the icon for the data analysis there is a way to insert and place that data analysis in Excel by clicking on, on file, click on more, and then uh, click on options, click on add ends, then click on go, and this window will appear. Take this if it was unticked, analysis tool pack, uh, and then click on OK. So to do one way ANOVA, click on data analysis, a window appear here, and we're going to select the analysis tool for ANOVA single factor. Click on OK, a window will appear here, and we are going to input the range for the data, and we're going to select these data, data as shown here, and I'm going to take tick the labels in the first row and I'm going to keep the alpha p-value for 0.05 and I'm going to uh, generate the output range in this cell here and if I click on OK a table is generated for ANOVA showing first descriptive a summary and then ANOVA table in the summary here, we can see that there are four groups, doctor, dentist, pharmacist, and nurse. And there are 25 participants in those, or members of this, each group. And the average for uh, the salary here is variables between the groups. We can see here that the doctors have the highest salaries and the nurse are the lowest. And then if we look at the um, variances here, we can see that they are nearly close to each other or similar. Uh, so this here indicates that there might be a homogeneity of uh, variances. For doing ANOVA, you need to satisfy one of the assumptions, which is homogeneity of variance. And to check whether your data um, follow that uh, homogeneity of variance, there is a certain way uh, to do that and I will produce that in a separate video but at this stage we will move ahead with the analysis of ANOVA in the next table ANOVA labeled as ANOVA shows that uh, there is a um, if we click enlarge this one it says that between groups and as we can see here an F test is performed and a value is generated and uh, p-value here is less than 0.05, which means that uh, this uh, 
um, test shows that there is a significant differences when we compare all the four groups uh, based on their salaries but uh, this test does not specify which pair of groups that are significant so once the ANOVA analysis is performed the next step is to perform post hoc test so there is no straightforward post hoc test that will compare all the possible combination between all these four groups and we have to do that pair by pair using a T test so if I want to compare uh, the group for doctor with dentist and find out whether there is a significant differences in uh, those two groups and then compare the doctor to pharmacist doctor to nurses and then dentist to pharmacist and dentist to nurses and then pharmacist or pharmacist to nurses so we're going just to show here how to do a couple if we want to compare the two groups here doctor and dentist Again, click on data analysis, scroll down to um, t-test to sample assuming equal variances. Here we need to assume that there is equal va variances and I've already done that and I checked and I found that these data have uh, homogeneity of variance. So I'm going to select that. And I'm going to select the range of the data for variable one. For variable one, I'm going to click on the first um, uh, first uh, uh, row here and click on Control Shift Hold to select the whole uh, column. And then for uh, variable two, click on Dentist, Control Shift Hold the uh, arrow down key and then click on the labels here tick on the labels and i'm going to generate the output in that area here here in this place which is indicated here and then if i click on ok a new table is generated for t test comparing the two groups doctor and dentist showing the mean as we can see here there is a difference in the mean 101 compared to 60 101 thousands compared to 60 thousands and the variance here is also uh, given and for the value it gave here a uh, p value for one tailed and p value for two tailed and as we can see here there is a significant differences between those two groups. So that means dentist has a lower salary compared to doctor and doctor have the higher salary. And if we intend to do also um, comparison between doctors and pharmacies, we'll repeat the same thing. Click on data analysis, select two sample assuming equal variancy, click on OK then in this window select the first variable range which is already selected for doctors and then for the second one we're going to select the pharmacist click on control shift and and keep holding it and click on the uh, down arrow key uh, click on this uh, uh, tick on this labels and then select the output range and insert the output range here in this place uh, let's keep it in this area and then click on OK. A uh, table is generated here for comparing the doctor with the pharmacist. And from that table, we can see that there is a difference in the mean between doctor and pharmacist. Doctor have higher salaries compared to pharmacist. Um, and uh, uh, there is nearly similarity in the variance. And for two-tailed uh, test here we can see the p-value is very significant as it is less than 0.05 this is the way to do one-way ANOVA um, for multiple group of data in Excel and follow that by uh, post hoc test based on t-test